This is Umar for Box Nation. We're in Riyadh, live and exclusive, uh, exclusive from the kingdom itself. Um, how are you finding it all, Gav? Big experience, this. Yeah, it's been mental. It's crazy. Like, we're even when we got um, arrived off the plane, um, greeting us with flowers. <laughs> Honestly, treating us like we're royals. Like, uh, co they can't do enough for us. It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. I'm interested to hear the first time this opportunity was present presented to yourself yeah. um, by Queensbury um, through His Excellency, of course. Um, what was the initial reaction? I didn't believe it. <laughs> I honestly didn't believe it. Um, I thought he's just stringing me along there. Um, and then a few days later, he said, the fight is done. And I haven't stopped smiling since. So, um, yeah, I found out around Christmas time. But I had a couple of weeks off the gym from my... Uh, fight in December, um, straight back in the gym, and I haven't stopped smiling since. Was it <laughs> difficult to keep it under wrap? Yeah, it was. It was difficult. Um, obviously, my wife knew, because obviously I had to get back into training camp, um, but no one else really knew until they announced it. I obviously, Leighton knew. Um, and then when they announced it, my social media went crazy. Just everyone, like, supporting me. It's been brilliant, like, yeah. Do you have to tell your wife, look, you can't tell anyone? Yeah, I did. Um, and obviously my coaches and things like that, look, you can't you can't say anything. It's a, it's a massive event. And if it comes out and it's off me, I'll probably get pulled off the show sort of thing. So, um, yeah, that was a bit mad as well. Like, And the name Mark Chamberlain, obviously someone who's making a bit of noise, but you've been in this sport for a while. He hasn't. He's still yeah. having his journey coming through. Um, this probably wouldn't have materialised. I know you'll fight anyone, Gav, but in yeah. terms of having this in the UK, it wouldn't have probably made sense. The money probably wouldn't have been there for me in the UK. Um, uh, I, I obviously won a certain amount of money now. I've got titles behind me, so um, the money wouldn't probably be there. But, um, yeah, I just can't thank His Excellency for having me out there and having me on the show. And um, what an amazing op opportunity for myself to um, push on to world honours. Absolutely. Before we talk about this Friday night, just reflecting on your last fight at your call, um, how do you sort of assess it now, Kevin? Um, it wasn't a really good performance from myself. Um, I put a lot of pressure on myself, I did, um, beforehand. Um, but Marcelli was a, just an awkward fighter. You can tell that that's why he was 42-0. Um, but I, I, I slowly grounded him down um, and then got the victory in the was it the seventh round. He didn't come out, um, but you could see a couple of rounds before that in his face. He kept on looking to the, kept on looking to the corner and shaking his head, sort of thing. Like he wanted out. You could see he was getting tired. He couldn't keep up, like running away from me. Um, but he was just so like elusive. It, if is is that the word that he was running from one side of the ring to the other, sort of on times like and. Um, it was hard, really, but obviously with Mark, um, I think he's going to stand there and, and have a trade-off with me, and uh, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Did it get into your head during camp about his age? Everyone was talking about his age, etc. Do you think that got to you a little bit? You overlooked him? Um, no, um, because that's one thing you never lose if you're a good fighter is the power and your your technique sort of thing, and you had, he had his old tricks up his sleeve. And I don't, I don't know what it was. I think I just overtrained. I think I was in camp for like 25 weeks. Um, I had dates and then they were given to me and then they were called off. So it was on and off, on and off for a couple of weeks. And then um, we got given a date then, Liam Williams and the Shiraz uh, and the card. And then that got called off. Um, so like I went away for the weekend um, with, with my wife and my boy. I mean, I come back and they give me another date then. So it was just, I think it was just like all a made sort of thing. And I just screwed myself in my head, my own head sort of thing. Have you kept an eye on Mark Chamberlain? Yeah, I've kept an eye on uh, Mark and obviously Sam and the boys coming through. Um, they're good fighters. Look, they're young, they're hungry. Um, but I've seen it all before. I've been there. This is my 21st fight, is it? And I've been in with loads of undefeated fighters before. It's, it's no difference to me and 
like it's no pressure on my shoulders either. I just gotta go out there and and fight. That's all I gotta do. Like it's no pressure on me. Like I did put a bit too much pressure on myself in the last fight, and I am this fight. And I was really snappy um, in the last camp, and I just been a happy, happy guy this whole this whole camp. And a happy fight is a dangerous fight, I reckon. Absolutely. Do you think it's too early for him? Um, yeah. My honest opinion, yeah, I think it's too early for him. He hasn't really been stepped up. Uh, if you have a look at his opposition compared to mine, the, my first 10 or 15 fights is nowhere near the, the records that I faced. Um, but he's got to step up to the mark, yeah. What challenges does he present? Um, I think he punches a bit and his, his boxing IQ is really good. Um, and, he's, and he's young and hungry, so... It's, it's going to be a great fight, yeah. Many from Wales coming over? Yes, a few coming over. Um, I just can't thank everyone enough for coming over and spending their hard doing cash because like, uh, times are hard at the minute and everyone from home um, sending their best wishes to me. I just thank thank you to everyone, yeah. And just lastly, you haven't even mentioned this. Um, being on a an Anthony Joshua undercard, the whole world's going to be watching this fight. It's a global event with him and yeah. Garner. So, as you said, uh, a win over Mark Chamberlain can really propel you to a world title shot and it's massive exposure for yourself, Gavin. Yeah, 100%. And I'm looking to steal the show. I want to be stealing the show and making making sure that I come back out, yeah. Um, and that's the plan, yeah. Perfect. On that note, Gavin Gwynn, thank you very much for talking to Box Nation and uh, enjoy your week out here in Saudi, and then uh, best of luck on Friday night. Thank you very much. Thank you.